name is Claudia Salguero and I'm going to show you how to paint with distortion tools over a photograph. The first thing I would like to do with this image is to lower the saturation to the minimum so I have a black and white image and also to lower the value in order to have more contrast. I always, always keep my original image just in case and for that in this case I would go to select all then edit copy and edit paste that means I'm having a copy of my original canvas and in this case I'm doing it also because I will like to enlarge the canvas to a bigger size so my photograph is placed inside a white uh, frame Now the fun part. Distortion tools are tools that wouldn't work on, a, on an empty canvas. You need color underneath the, the tool in order to basically pull up and down the color and create image over your painting with that. So the distortion, to, the distortion tools here in Painter Light are in FX category and this is the one, Distorted Tool. By using this tool, I can do two things. I can distort the image as it is, or I can actually add colors while I'm using the tool. So in this case, what I would like to do is to paint some lines over this image. And for that, I will just start painting some lines that in this case would give more personality to this building. I can lower the size of my brush and in this way I would increase the perspective. And I can also change the colors. So for the other buildings I'm going to use different tones. Let's say we can go to some purple here to give more personality to this building. Notice how important it is for your artistic expression to use a pressure-sensitive drawing tablet. And in order to have to give more volume to these buildings and to give them more personality, I'm going to add lights. What I like about this image, as you can see, is that there is a lot of perspective and I love perspective. Uh, all these lines invite me to push out the image and to make it even more dynamic. Also, to me, buildings are as alive as we are in the cities. And the best way for me to express that is to paint over my photographs with paint or light tools. Now, and uh, because I have, remember, I have my original image underneath and I have it on my canvas. And the image that I'm working on here, which is layer one, is floating on, over my canvas. I can apply some effects to the canvas that will show underneath my image. So what I would like to do is to soften a little bit the borders of the, my photograph. So what I will do in this case, I will go to blenders. And um, in order to have to blend the images underneath, I will change my main layer. This would give me a little bit more volume and another kind of effect. But I don't really like this effect, so let's try instead the real blend around. And I find that this tool actually gives me a more natural look. And here we go. In no time, we add a lot, of, a lot of expression to this image that was originally in black and white. And we haven't even used oils or inks uh, tools. We just use distortion tools.